Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Chef Kills for the people, baby. I am Chef Kills, and I salute you. We just chilling. We having a good time. I thank you for all your support, your subscriptions, all your likes and shares, and please continue riding with your boy. I have a special toast for each and every one of you. I thank you for all you do and continuing this journey with me. Cheers. Mm. That's great. And this toast is for me, Chef Kills, for the people. Cheers. I hope you all have a great night and a beautiful evening. Hello, everyone. It's about 7.40 in the p.m. Just woke up from a little cat nap. Uh, you know, senior citizens, we need those little naps wherever we can get one in. So, with that said, we're going to just make something, something very light. We're going to do a shrimp and broccoli stir fry. It's going to be an Asian influence to it. So, with that said, we have a little bit of extra large uh, tiger shrimp. We have some baby broccoli florets. Some less sodium soy sauce. I like cooking with as little salt as possible, but I don't want to compromise the taste. So we have a little bit of oyster sauce, a little bit of hoisin sauce, crushed red bell pepper or crushed red pepper. We're going to throw a little bit of um, ginger root in there. Looks pretty nice. Uh, we're not going to worry about shaving off the skin because we're just going to slice up in like maybe two or three slices. And we're just going to let it uh, ride with the shrimps. And, uh, and the broccoli when it's time for it to go in. Then I have uh, about four garlic cloves here. I'm gonna just smack those up and um, integrate those with the shrimp. And we're gonna just lay that over some jasmine rice. This is regular white rice. And um, the rice we're gonna go ahead and, and um, start in the pressure cooker. So um, we're gonna let that do its thing. And then that rice, all we're gonna do is add a little bit of salt, not much at all. And uh, a little bit of water. You know, you got to have water when you're making rice, right? All right, so let's get this popping. First thing we're going to do here is just go and start this rice, being that it's going to be in the pressure cooker. And it's going to cook relatively fast, and it's easy to do. <clears throat> have about maybe a, a less than a half a bag of this um, rice. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it in there like that. Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna add very little salt. About maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. Then I'm gonna add some spring water. Not too much. I'm just gonna take a look at this. Yeah. Alright, we just wanna. Have it just come up maybe a quarter of an inch above the rice line. So this way it's gonna be al dente when it comes out, not gonna be all hard and grainy. And then just gonna add the equivalent of a cap full of oil. See, not a lot at all. And you can use any oil you like, vegetable oil, canola, um, sunflower seed oil, etc. It don't matter what kind of oil you use. If you use peanut oil and uh, sesame, uh, oil. The flavor is going to come out differently and as long as you're pairing it up with uh, uh, Asian influenced meal, it's going to still come out very good. It's going to complement the meal. Alright, let's uh, throw this lid on it. Okay, that's secure. We're going to make sure that the pressure valve is good. Okay, that's good. And then I'm just going to push this back a little bit. All right, and we're gonna put it on the rice uh, setting, rice risotto setting, and I'm gonna click it. Oh, it's telling me my lid's not on. Okay, now it's on, right? There we go. I don't wanna, 
hurt myself here by improperly using this pressure cooker. But anyway, so I got the right setting on. Let me turn it off so I can see where I'm going with this. All right, so you can go as high as 25 minutes. Uh, it has three settings, uh, six minutes, 18 minutes, and 25 minutes. It's not a lot of ice on here, so I'm going to just go with 18 minutes. And uh, after uh, the alarm goes on, tell me that it's ready, I'm going to go ahead and depressurize it. I'm going to get and look at it, taste it. If it's al dente, then I'm going to go ahead and just leave it be. If it needs to go in a little more, I'm simply going to put it, going to leave it alone, drop the lid back on it. And I'm going to let it go for the lowest setting, six minutes. But I'm going to interrupt. I'm going to go like three minutes. And then it should be done if it's not already done uh, the first cycle. All right. So let's pan back over her. Now. This is how we're going to do this. Okay, we got nothing but shrimp in here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and split this garlic. I love cooking with garlic. It makes everything taste better. <laughs> Gotta wash my hands with all of this because the garlic tends to be a little sticky with the juices. So I'm basically chopping this up, but I'm not going to make it too fine because I like the texture as well. It should be bold also. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in to the shrimp. Now with the garlic, I took the liberty of washing it off. I'm just gonna save it like that. Okay. Just like that, four pieces. That's gonna be enough. I'm gonna also throw that in with the shrimps as well. Let me move this mat out the way. Now the first ingredient I'm gonna put in here is the uh, crushed red peppers. Not gonna to do too much, but uh, a little sprinkle. But again, taste your food and season to taste. All right, very important. Soy sauce. Same thing, one, two, three, four. Oyster sauce. Got to shake it around a little bit because it's not a full one. And I'm gonna put maybe I don't know two teaspoons in there. One. Two. Hoisin sauce. I love cooking with this sauce as well. It's going to be uh, one teaspoon, but a robust teaspoon, a robust 
So boom, throw that in there. Okay, let me open up my fridge, throw these back in here, because I'm done with these. Man, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes when I take a nap, man, I wake up more tired than when I lay down in the first doggone place. But it's all good. I'm going to push through. I'm going to push through. That's what a real G do. You feel me? All right. Simple recipe so far, right? Anybody can do this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You know, don't be afraid. Start cooking, man. Start cooking. Stop with this, you know, ramen noodles and going to Burger King all the time. I know some some people, and, and it's cool. If that's your thing, then that's your thing. You know, they can recite every menu items in McDonald's or Arby's, but they they can't tell me what the ingredients are for something simple that you can prepare at home. Far less money, far better taste, and that's what's up. You know, you got to treat yourself, not cheat yourself in life. All right, so let's let's go ahead and take this to the stove top, and I'll tell you how I'm gonna incorporate the broccoli when we get there. The pan is uh, I got it on high heat on the stove, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil on there, not a lot, just enough to coat it. Look at that. As a matter of fact, I'm even gonna. I'm gonna get rid of some of this oil because that may be a little bit too much. All right, here we go. See, just enough to coat this bad boy. And listen, I also have a little condiment hack for you too, which a lot of people know. When you go to your favorite uh, Chinese restaurant and get some, uh, you know, some of your favorite uh, food items, and you know how you get your soy sauce and your hot mustard and your duck sauce, uh, I just have a few left over. I don't throw them away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some duck sauce, some mustard, you know, just one package, and uh, it's going to go ahead and make it really, really good. All right. And normally I put the, when I'm making an Asian influence uh, shrimp and broccoli, I love putting baby bella mushrooms in there too, but I forgot to pick some up. So we're not gonna go there. All right. Let's get this popping. Just dump the contents in there, like that. This is broccoli, check it out. I'm just gonna pour it in there. I could if I want to, you feel me? All right, I'm using about, I don't know, almost the whole bag. You know what? Forget about it, baby. I'm using a whole bag of broccoli. What you gonna do about that? Huh? What you gonna do about that? Yeah, we're gonna use this whole bag of broccoli because broccoli's healthy for you anyway. I was gonna be a little all conservative and dainty and whatnot, but nah, man. We ain't using exact measurements here. We're going with our heart. Be going with our stomach. And sometimes I even cook with my eyes. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. You can hold me to that one. All right. So you don't have to disturb it much at all. And some people, they cook, <clears throat> I'm sorry, they season their food in layers. So they'll get that in there. And then towards the end, they'll put their duck sauce and their mustard. Nope, not Chef Kills for the people. I'm going to throw this mustard joint in here right now. Put it right on top. Alright. Let me wipe this off. 
I love a clean cooking environment. All right. Now we're gonna pop this duck sauce in here. Okay, that's it. Now while I'm talking to you, I'm gonna go ahead and wash out this Tupperware so I can reuse it. You know, I'm all about the repurposing. So let's see, today is Friday night. And, uh, but today is my Sunday. So I have to go back to work tomorrow. <clears throat> so it'll be rise and shine at 0430 hours. And get back into the grind. You know? But it's all good. I'm grateful that I'm employed. And I'm able to support my family. There's a lot of people out there that, that want to work. But, you know, they just don't. You know, a pissy hand. It's hard to find a job, and then it's hard to keep it when you find one. So, I'm just grateful and fortunate that I have a job that basically I can have for life. You know, I just gotta do my job, and and it's all Gucci. It's all good. Plus, I'm good at what I do anyway. Thank God. So, we're gonna let that simmer up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and have some water because my throat is parched. And like I always say, if you want to drop me a comment, just say what's up. You know, you want to give me some recipes of your own. You want to uh, comment on what I could do better, please, by all means, hit me up. All you have to do is drop me a line, man. That's all you have to do. Hit me up in the comments. I welcome everything, the good, bad, and the ugly. You feel me? The good, bad, and the ugly. This looks and smells so good. Let me get him pop it, flip it, shake it. Ah, pop it, flip it, shake it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Boom. TV magic. How does Modelo beer get in here? I guess it's meant for me to drink it. Oh, my. Cheers. This is for all of you. Oh, we. It's nice and cold, too. So cold. So nice. Haha. <laughs> Look at this. Let me show you something. Look at this ginger, baby. That is good. Nice pieces. Nice knobs. Can I just don't have to stay on too long. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and leave it on the stove top. So, check this out. With the shrimp... See how it's a nice little pinkish orange? That's an indication that it's done. It went from fleshy, white, and grayish to like a pinkish orange. With your broccoli, you can let that stay in as long as you want. But please, do Chef Kills a favor and do yourself a favor. Don't cook the broccoli until you're making broccoli soup with it. You can have it soft, you can have it medium, you can just touch it up and just let it kiss the pan if you want to. Just don't overcook it, please. All right? Broccoli is your friend. I right, said so that's popping. The rice should be done soon. Uh, when the rice gets ready, I'll go ahead and throw this all together for you, all right? Thank you for riding with your boy. All right, so the pressure cooker alarm went off. That means that the rice should be done. I'm going to release the pressure. <clears throat> Get all that steam coming out. Be careful. Make sure you use uh, protective gear when you're releasing the nozzle on the pressure cooker because uh, that steam comes out pretty hot all right I think it's safe enough to remove the lid
Now let's see what this looks like then. Huh. Very nice. It's like sushi grade rice. Huh. My, 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 look at that. <laughs> Sushi grade. Really nice. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's start the plating. That's a pretty plate. Let's get some of that au jus on there. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy. Do you. Look at that. Beautiful thing. Beautiful. So once again, thank you for tuning in to Chef Kills for the people, baby. God bless you. And God bless America. Peace.